Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about my experience reading the Harry Potter series for the first time. I just finished reading the Deathly Hallows a couple weeks ago and uh, so good. I mainly wanted to make this video for two reasons. The first reason being a lot of you knew that I was reading the series for the first time. I got a lot of comments from people saying that they wish they could go back to the first time that they were reading the Harry Potter series. So I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys my experience reading it for the first time. The second reason I wanted to make this video was just kind of for my own sake because I think that I will be very nostalgic about this time. So I think it'll be fun for me to go back and look at this video and remember what it was like for me the first time I read this series. So let's get into it. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly run through each book and tell you briefly what I thought of it. Then I'm going to spend a little bit of time kind of having a discussion about the last book because I kind of have a lot of things to say. I think most of you have read the Harry Potter series but if you haven't I probably wouldn't recommend watching this video just in case some spoilers come up which they will definitely come up when I talk about the last book. I read this book in June of this year and I remember specifically getting this book as a birthday present from Cameron from Book Movie Guy. I actually did an unboxing of this and I'll show you a clip from it because I was pretty surprised when I opened it up and I saw this. It's freaking Harry Potter! Oh my god! So I ended up reading this right after I got it in that same month and obviously I absolutely loved it. Then we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and this was incredible. This is one of my favorites from the series. I just really, really, really loved the storyline of this and getting to know the characters more. It was just such a great book. Then we have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Of course, this was amazing. Going into reading this book, I knew everything that happened just because the third movie is my favorite movie and so I'd seen it a million times. So I already knew this story by heart, but I still loved reading this so, so much. And it is also one of my favorites. I think this book is probably one of everyone's favorites. And of course you get introduced to Sirius Black and he is one of my favorite characters. So I loved it. We have the Goblet of Fire and this is one of my favorites. I loved the Quidditch tournament in the beginning. And of course I loved the Triwizard tournament. This was just such a great book and it was one of the first big books that I got to in this series and I flew through it. I have lovely feelings when I think about this book. So, so good. Then we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and I actually read this book really recently. I think I read this, I read this in October I believe. This is actually my least favorite book in the series which I've heard a lot of people say this is their favorite. Um, I still loved this book with all my heart but just out of these seven books, this one is just kind of my least favorite. Half-Blood Prince, one of the saddest books besides Deathly Hallows. So amazing. <sighs> then we have The Deathly Hallows, and this book, all the emotions, I can't. I read this this month, so you will see it in my wrap-up video. This book is so incredible. It's such an amazing end to the series. Like, J.K. Rowling really, 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 really went out with a bang. Um, she knew what she was doing when she ended the series. She knew what she was doing when she wrote this entire series. But with this book, it's, it's hard to love a book that ends one of your favorite series because that means it's over. But this was just done so well. When I finished it, I was a freaking emotional wreck. I cried so much during this book. I don't think I've cried as much during any other book than I did this one. And I'm not just talking about in the series, I'm talking about any other book ever. And so many deaths in this book and it just like ripped my heart out. But the thing is, when I cried the most during this book was during the epilogue, which is not even sad. But I was crying out of joy and just, I couldn't believe it was over. So I was just bawling, okay? And it was so funny because I got to the epilogue and the page right before the epilogue says 19 years later and right then I knew that my emotions were just going to be a mess and I was just, I like literally sat there for a minute and just stared at the page emotionally preparing myself because I knew I was going to be bawling when I read the epilogue. I kind of sat there for a minute and like started to turn the page and then I lost my courage and it was just it was crazy but I finally turned the page and started reading the epilogue and immediately I started crying and what really got me was Albus Severus I was just like <laughs> and then when he tells Albus that he was named for two headmasters of Hogwarts one of them was a Slytherin and he was probably the bravest man I ever knew 
So many emotions. And then that last sentence, all was well, I just freaking lost it, okay? And then I just kind of closed the book and a lot of this happened. <laughs> And then I just sat there and like stared into space. I was so lost. I didn't know what to do with myself. I couldn't believe that the series was over. It was finished. It was done. And I was just like, I was like a lost puppy. Like I didn't know what to do with my life. I just sat there and cried. <sighs> yeah. I'm just so in love with this series and the characters and I'm just addicted. I just finished the last book in this series this month and I'm already excited to start reading the series over again. I just love it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> oh god. But I'm so glad that I finally read these books and if you haven't yet, you won't be watching this video. Oh! Well, that was a fail. Albus Severus. You had Alvis Severus. You had Alvis Severus. Alvis? <laughs> really gonna cry again. It'd be fun for me to go back and look back at people saying... I thought someone was here.